the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to thread the bobbin. Now when we're threading the bobbin, we have two, two sets of threads, the to a top thread and a lower thread. The top thread goes from the spool pin through the cleat here, it goes down the center front, underneath this clip, and then you'll notice that the take-up lever, which is this, has a slit in it. You want to put it through the slit and there's a little piece of metal which is your tension. Again, you're going to make sure that it's through the tension guide and then through the thread guide down here. All right? And lastly, through the needle itself. I like to get a fresh cut on my thread in order to thread the needle easily. Sometimes threading the needle is the hardest part. Sometimes if you just wet the end of the need wet end of the thread, it's enough to moisture on it to uh, push it through the needle. And if that doesn't work, then try cutting it again. Okay, so that is the upper thread. Once again, we're going to go from the spool pin through the um, thread guide, from the spool pin to the thread guide here, straight down the front. It'll go underneath the clip here, through the tension take-up lever. It goes from right to left, so you're going to go from in here and then through the middle plate, which is right here. And then you're going to come down the front through this thread guide and then through the needle. And that's how to do the upper thread. Now I said there were two sources of thread. That's the upper thread. This is going to be the lower thread. This is a bobbin casing. The bobbin casing um, is part of the machine. We want the thread on the bobbin to be going clockwise. We want this thread to be going clockwise. When you put it in, you're going to place it in the side and straight in, going clockwise. And then we need to put it through a little slit on the side. Again, this also has tension. So we go through the slit here and then up underneath this piece of uh, metal which is, acts as the tension on the bobbin itself. When you turn your bobbin, we want to pull out this lever in order to hold it. If you pull it out, as you pull it out, it will not fall. If you pull it just halfway, you'll see that it, it will fall right out, okay? So you want this to be all the way out so you can hold that. Um, there is a, um, in the machine itself, you'll see that there is a place for this little finger, if you will, um, to go right straight up like that, okay? Um, then when you're ready, when this is all in and everything's set, what you want to do is hold your upper thread, turn your hand wheel, again, your hand wheel always is going to be turned towards you. So I'm going to turn it towards me. You'll see that the, the uh, bottom of the top thread is going to wrap around here. You can see it wrapping around as I turn this. You can see the thread wrap around and once it's wrapped around, 
I can pull up my lower thread. It's a loop and I pull it through. And then I am all set, ready to sew. Now I took my presser foot off so that you could see the um, dog feed, which is what moves the fabric. I'm going to put my presser foot back on simply by lowering my presser foot and letting it engage in the foot. Whenever you're starting to sew, you want your you want your thread behind the machine. Okay? Both threads behind the machine.